the is that the cruise right there? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. You're cruising along right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up, Tammy? Alex. Melinda Good is cruising. Morning, cruising this morning. What's up, Jerry? Cruising How are you? For a bruising. Kim Adams. Yeah. Hi, Kim. How Good are morning. you? Ah, oh, man, I'm so glad to see you all yeah. here, Melissa. Melissa, what's going on there, lady? What Charisse. is it? Charisse, how are you? I'm just pulling up the comments. Louisiana. Debbie. Louisiana in the house. Joe. What's up, Platts? How are you? Good Christy. to see you. Good to see your woo face woo. this morning. David, yes. Kayleen. How are you? How are you? I'm so it's Tuesday. Oh, there they are. It's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Ta Come on, somebody. Taco Tuesday. I say tacos Amy. today because it's Tuesday. Yes. Come on. Yes, it is. Come I'm on. I'm hungry for tacos, actually. I mean, that teaching school is hard work. <laughs> Jeff. Totally. What's up, Jeff? Hey, you know I heard a great, I heard today? a great, I heard a great dad joke. Do you know what we learned about today? No, what'd you, uh, yeah, you did school today already. Blubber. 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 Like whale blubber. Uh, oh, close, babe. You should have today. Seal blubber. Seal? Yes, you should have well, today. It's a, it's a blubber. <sighs> Angie. Anyway, good to see you. Good morning. So, oh, Lori's in Alaska. So I heard this. I heard She's a wonderful story. Seen. My, blah, blah, blah. my email password got hacked again. How many have had that happen? Your email password gets hacked. Oh, so this guy says, my email password got hacked again. That's the third time I've had to rename the cat. <laughs> that is fantastic right there. That is fantastic. Jeff had tacos on Sunday, babe. Listen, it's Taco Tuesday, Taco Sunday. It's taco every, every day. Every day is taco. Honestly. Every day is taco. I'm pretty oh, sure. Desert. Kim is in I'm pretty sure. Case and Selvati, what are you doing, my man? Decker. Plumbing. Uh, but but let's be honest. Let's be honest. Like, tacos she, may she's be. Seal blubber and whale blubber. Oh. Mm, fantastic. <laughs> Why are we talking okay. about that? Because anyway, that's what we learned. Because that's what school today. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, how do you get rid of a mole? A mole? Like a mole yeah. in the... How do you... How do you hey, hold on. How do you get rid of a that's mole? That's what I'm asking. Like in a yard? So I, I saw these things one time. They look like a stick of dynamite, but they're not. They're like smoke. And you light them okay. and you stuff them in the, the tunnels. Because, you know, a mole yeah. has tunnels under the yard. And Assuming then, hold on. So many holes and then it smokes them out. And then they come out. <laughs> and then what? You bop them on the head. Little bunny. A little, too little, little, <laughs> little bunny poo poo. <laughs> Heather. Oh, yeah. uh, Have you ever seen a mole? Have you ever seen a mole? Well, like they come out and they're like, they can't yeah, see and didn't stuff. Didn't you bury one once when you were little? Oh, true story, y'all. I think oh, we were kindergarten. So I think we were kindergarten. Oh, a spy. That's a mole plumbing. Some when, yeah. when, Bulgaria. when, uh, when you're in kindergarten, you only go half day, right? No, not now. They make them go full days. Maybe like, I was in preschool. Intense, I'm not sure. Anyway, okay. they dropped me off at the daycare place Stick next to grandma's house. In the hole. Stick a hose? Like, to drown them out. Like flood them out? Maria. Yeah, I guess that could work too. Okay, mole. You can flood them out. Little. I was little, so <clears throat> me and my buddies... We're at this daycare and there was this mole that came out of the ground and he was running around. So we buried him. We buried him. And we went Yonder. home and my grandma Good and grandpa are like, you. what'd you guys do today? And I said, we took care of a mole. Matt. Like we killed a mole that we said. We were nice. so proud. We were all like four, Jeff maybe five. Jeff has a solar powered stake that vibrates and makes noise every 20 seconds. Do you have a problem with moles then? Maybe not. It must work. I, I well, if you don't have a problem, maybe it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not real sure. Anyway, Paula, how are you? So anyway, so anyway, we were all proud, me and my, bro me and my brothers. Paula, we learned about blubber in school today. My brothers, yes. we were all proud because we killed a mole at the daycare and saved everybody's lives. And my grandpa oh, now like, you saved everybody's lives. <laughs> it, the story's better 50 years later right. or 46 oh. years later. Um, true. But I told 
my grandpa's like, well, how'd you kill them all? And I said, grandpa, we dug a hole and buried it. <laughs> I didn't know. It didn't bite you? No. Ugh, no, crazy. we were hit over the stick and oh, stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> fantastic. So, okay. hey. Better hey, than you're video games. A, you're getting a text message and oh, you're getting free boy, stuff. Oh, boy, boy. You're getting free stuff from the Nigerians. That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, babe, I don't accept that. What? Oh. Jeff, they, they had a problem. They got it just two weeks ago. All right. Oh, Call oh, us shopping at Walmart. Shopping at Walmart. All okay. Right, well, hey. Right. hey. Interesting. Hey, we got, we got, you know. I heard Walmart has good snacks. Uh, probably. Probably. Uh, probably. Okay. okay. What's your so word for today? My word for Tuesday. today. My word for today is, y'all, <laughs> I, I got to be honest with you. I've been, I'm dealing hope right now. I'm dealing hope. Do it. Like, I'm dealing hope. Do and it. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Because the narratives are, are pretty heavy right now. Yeah. And if you don't have somebody dealing hope in your life, then you just got to tune into the Jeff Melinda Live Show every day <laughs> because we're dealing hope. We have to be hope in this time. Lacey. Lacey, I'm telling you this straight up. In Natalia. this time, we have to be hopeful mm -hmm. for what God has called us to. Yeah, boy, that's we right. have to. Yeah. We have to be hopeful to what God has called you us to. Have. I get it, circumstance, everything going on, all those things, yeah. but we have to be hopeful. Yeah. Remember, y'all, God promised Abraham My. before he was Abraham, he promised Abram that he would make his lineage into a great nation. Yeah. The promise. Abram. The that's promise. Before his name was changed right. to Abraham. Okay. But the promise begins. Hey, Mike. Good this morning. is the part that we often overlook when okay. we think about Abram and Abraham and hopeful for what God's called us to do. All right. The promise begins with, hey, Abram, you're going to have to leave your country. You're going to have to leave your relatives. You're going to have to leave your family's house. And you're going to have to follow my word to a place that I have yet to show you. So here's the deal. We have to be hopeful for what God has called us to. And I think God did it this way for Abram because Abram had to let go of any sense of security he had to let go of a sen the sense of security in order to live in God's future for it. And a lot of times, our security will be um, mm. let uh, our security will be minimized. <clears throat> minimized. Our certainty yeah. will be minimized in order for us to live in the future that God has for us. We have to be hopeful for what God is calling us to do. Abram's only security, listen to this, you all. Abram's only security was the word of God. He, he couldn't trust in horses and chariots. He couldn't trust in his, his retirement fund. He couldn't trust it. His only security was the Karen, word of God. So, so God calls him far beyond his own means. Not just beyond it, wow. but away from it, right? Oh my gosh. Sometimes we think that the purposes of God or our journey has to have all the securities around us. We often think that God is God synonymous needs. With certainty when you have and security. security, it means you're in the right path. The because certainty and security is your salvation oh, in Christ. Gosh, that's good. When <clears throat> that that's that's why we have to be hopeful for what God has called us to do, because all we have is the Word of God. But check this out. Okay. Okay. Let's dive even deeper. Okay. Got Genesis 12. You can all go read it, verse one through three. Okay. God says, "Leave your father's land. Da da da. da. Go to a land I'm showing you." He tells Abraham, Abram, I'm going to make you a great and mighty nation. But listen to the double down here. Okay. Right? God calls Abram far beyond his own means. He says to him, you're going to make, you're going to be the father of a great nation. 
here's the deal. Okay. We already know that Sarai, soon to be Sarah, is barren. His wife. His wife. Okay. God will call yeah. you beyond your biological means. What? Right? That's why we have to be hopeful for what God has called us to do. Listen, even when it looks darkest, even when it feels heaviest, even when it seems most impossible, yeah. we can stay hopeful yes. for what yes. God yes. is calling us into. When Abram and Sarai are introduced it's very clear that Sarai is barren. Genesis yeah. 11, verse yeah. 30. Yeah. When these characters are introduced, there oh, is no my future. Gosh. Wow. There is only barrenness. Yep. One author says, author <clears throat> Brueggemann writes, Abraham and Sarah were quite without potential. Hmm. How many times... Have you felt the circumstances that you were in were without potential? We have to remain hopeful That's good. That's good. for what God has called us yeah, to do. Because here's the truth. Yeah. We look back at Abraham very differently today. Very differently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, when we trust God is calling us, mm -hmm. we can be, we can live filled with hope that he is doing something beautiful and new with us. That's our message. We got to be hopeful Ooh, that's for what message. God has called you to do. Oh, you might have lost some stuff Kim. in this season. Maybe some jobs, maybe some business, maybe some run. God's still calling you to something yes. that might even be far beyond your Debbie. reach. That might even be far beyond your biology. Yeah. And yet you can be <laughs> hopeful That's so good. to what That's he's so good. called you to. That's the story of Abram and Sarai. They were without mm -hmm. potential yeah. to fulfill what God had called them to do, yet remaining hopeful for what God called them to do, man, we look back on their lives very differently today. Oh, man, may gosh. you and I, may we walk in this season hopeful for what God is doing in the midst of the, the, the crazy chaos and the craziness. Oh, okay. Well, listen to this. A seed looks nothing like an oak tree. Woo! A sperm looks nothing like a child. Easy. <laughs> Pile PG. of lumber looks nothing right. like a home. A pile I, of tubing looks nothing like a I fast this, race Nicole car. I posted this. What? A pile yes, of tubing that's right, that's right. looks nothing like and a fast race car. Our, your life until now looks yeah. nothing like the greatness that's right, that Jason God Hill. of heaven and earth has planned for Come on, you. Mike Walker. No matter how great it's yes, been until Tiffany. now. That's right. No matter how great you got to trust God with every change every surrounding with every step we have shane. to be hopeful yes for what god has we called are. us to do shane's eye what's up my friend we i have think to that be. hope that hope in christ that unites us i mean it does man we encourage one another. it does we do we do we do it's okay we want to pray absolutely i want to know remind you let us know what your prayer requests are. We are praying for them every day. We want to agree you know, with you. <laughs> we, you know, we've been praying. We've been praying every day for protection and you provision. Get all, you get all serious. We've been praying. Uh, we've been praying for protection praying. and provision, but I want to pray for something else. Stop the insanity. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> I'm just praying protection. Clarity of mind. Yeah. <laughs> People be Come losing on. their stuff yeah. right now. I mean, uh, come on, y'all. All right, all right. All right, be good to all each right. other. Okay, well, let's pray. <laughs> Father, we're praying for protection, yes. God, from a virus, protection from anything evil that would come near your house, thank your you, business, Lord. your life, your kids, yes. your family, yourself. I thank you, God, for an incredible, 
Mike, mount of protection around you. Father, I thank you, God, for provision. Yes. Provide resources, finances, jobs, opportunities, God. Favor, increase. God, your promise, God, is that you will provide, Lord. We pray protection and provision through this season. Alex, I think the hooey hat is, um, is in the truck. So, but Melinda brought the hooey, the hooey selfie right there. <laughs> I got to tell you, what said, stop the insanity. I'm, 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 I'm starting to wonder on this mask thing. I'm oh, starting to that. wonder. I'm just saying. Don't. I'm starting to wonder, y'all. Like, okay, our hope is in the Lord. Not I was, I was laughing my head off when I saw this meme that said, that said the virus lives at a certain elevation in restaurants. That's oh. why you wear the mask on the way to the table because you're walking. But then when you sit down, like you get below it. Honey. I'm like, Honey. what is going on? And then, and then <coughs> Coach Pete gets a fine. Coach Pete. I'm telling you what, what's going on, y'all. Anyway, man, it's enough to make you well, kind of go. Well, we made it through almost <laughs> an entire show together without that. I'm here all week, y'all. <laughs> Great. I'm here all week. Woo! I'm here all what week. What would we do? I'll bring the hooey. Taco Tuesday we'll is better with you, baby. Taco Tuesday. All right, we love you. All right, you guys, pray and protection over you. Like, and Pray and provision over you. But you remember, remember. We have to be hopeful yeah. for what God has called us That's to do, right. even in these seasons. We got to be hopeful. All right, y'all. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Later.